This is a pop pop boat, and if you've never seen one, they're kind of interesting. It's a kid's toy. You uh, have this little pan, and you put a candle in there, you light it, and you put it underneath the motor here. And what it does is it heats up this piece right here. Uh, it'll have a little bit of water in it. The water flashes the steam. It shoots out of these two pipes that come out the back here. And it pushes the boat forward, and then it will suck water back into here where it flashes again to steam because the candles heated it back up and it just keeps repeating that cycle and if you ever heard it it just goes pop 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 as it's moving along and there's a lot of debate on how these actually work and so I had an idea and I wrote a Python program to to look at the mathematics of it to see if uh, that might work this is the program I wrote to test to see if my idea was correct about how uh, the pop-pop boat moves and it's based on uh, an assumption that the mass of the water in to the engine is the same as the mass of the water going out, the weight, whatever you want to call it. And another assumption is that it's moving forward because the water shooting out is coming out faster than the water coming back in and if we use a simple high school formula from physics, mass times velocity equals the momentum. Uh, we can test to see if that might be correct. We're looking at the mass of the water in, we're going to say the in and the out water mass are the same and it should be the same. And I'm going to set, start out with 5 grams and one drop, just to give you an idea about how much 5 grams is, uh, one drop is 0 0.05 grams, so 5 grams represent a lot of drops of water. The velocity in, I'm going to set it to 1 initially. The speed of the water in and out of the engine are not the same. And that's what's going to drive the boat forward. And here is the velocity out, so velocity in, velocity out. So we come down here and what we're going to do is we're going to vary the velocity out between 10 and 20 uh, millimeters per second. So what we do is we grab the first one, we're going to start out with 10, velocity out will be 10 and we're going to plug it into our formula and this is mass of the water out times the velocity of the water out so it's the momentum of the water shooting out minus the momentum of the water that comes back in so if this difference is positive that means the boat should move forward and this is just the print statement that prints it out so let's run the program and see what we get and here we go here's our momentum out, momentum in. We started out uh, with 50, we're going to subtract 5 and our momentum is 45 grams, gram millimeters per second forward and as we go down here the number goes up and not surprisingly the momentum forward goes up. So this sort of confirms that it's a difference in momentum of water in and out of the engine that is causing the boat to move forward and my guess is this is probably one of the largest reasons that the pop-up boat moves forward. Okay, well anyway, I hope you found this useful and interesting uh, in your pop-pop boat explorations.